Hello, my brothers and sisters. This is a little bit of an astro alert. Saturn right now is squaring Pluto. That means a lot of fear and a lot of karma. And we've created a special series called Astro Extra, Saturn in Libra. Now, it's not free. We do charge for this, but it's over an hour video explaining where you are with Saturn, explaining what this is about, explaining the next full year, and explaining the tension you might be feeling right now. So if you're interested, come on down to soulground.tv, click on Soul Mart, and then Saturn Astro Extra. See you there. Hello, Lunar Child, and welcome now to Thursday. And as always, thanks for logging in to SoulGarden.tv. Well, it's a two-part day, especially for the Cancers, as we wake up the moon in Gemini. So you might be cranky getting out of bed. You might feel a little spaced out with the moon in Gemini. Your emotions are still triggered by subconscious issues. Could have been a wicked night of dreams for you. Could also be you self-sabotaging yourself or falling into self-sabotaging behavior, falling into self-sabotaging thoughts. These are weeds in our Soul Garden, and today you will be triggered at least the first half of the day. You do get stronger, though, as the day progresses. That's because your home planet, the moon, moves into cancer, your own sign, shifting emotional focus now to your ego. So you'll have the strength of your ego suddenly behind your emotions and your emotions behind your ego. It'll still be cloudy. It'll still be introverted. But I think you'll be feeling calm and cool as the day progresses. But tonight, we have a grand square forming, a temporary one triggered by that moon. Now, what a grand square does, it puts an all-stop kind of on society. You might feel stuck tonight might feel stuck on your job or stuck in a relationship or stuck in your house. That feeling of stuck is really not the point spiritually. The point is to stop and listen. Okay, when the universe wraps its arms around you and doesn't let you move, there's something you should be thinking about. And in your case, it really revolves around the sun. We're in chapter one of Sun in Libra. Saturn is conjuncting the sun today and Neptune's ruling the day. What does that mean? Well, with Neptune, it means we're intuitive. If you listen, the universe will speak to you today and give you some guidance on the truth. The sun conjuncting Saturn says it's time for cancers to take responsibility for their self-nurturing. In fact, according to the planets, it is your self-nurturing rituals that throw your life out of balance. All right? Your life gets thrown out of balance when you don't take care of yourself. And I see cancers manifesting this in many ways with my cancer clients. All right? I know cancers are nurturing people. And I think a lot of times cancers will nurture others in hopes that those persons will nurture them back, okay? Of course, those people don't because the people who want to be nurtured by you don't nurture themselves, so you never get the nurturing back. So you're conning yourself by nurturing others thinking you'll get nurtured when really you should have put your own oxygen mask on first before you assisted other people. So I see that happening with cancers. I, th I see cancers not nurturing themselves in the right way. I see cancers not taking care of themselves and mothering themselves and instead being cranky to everyone else. All right? I see cancers who are getting taken advantage of by other people even though they are trying to nurture themselves, they're depleting themselves. And I see cancers expecting their family to take care of them instead of them taking care of them. All these different examples, okay? And it comes down to this. If you want to be happy, if you want to spread your wings here on the planet, you must mother yourself. And the sun conjuncting Saturn is saying that today. Now, we have some help from our other SG practitioners. One is we've got Sadiqa Salter's Renegade Aromatherapist going live today. She's got a plant essence that will help you regain balance. So if your life has been thrown out of balance today, Sadiqa will help you using the essence of plants. You can cook with it. You can use it on your skin. You can just smell it. She's live everywhere, Soul Garden Streams. And Julie Zipper is holding a 40-day meditation class to help you meditate and stay centered. Great way to nurture yourself is to connect to your higher self. If you want information on Julie's class, it's at 40daymeditation.com. All right, Cancer, that's all I have for today. Good luck with learning the truth. Tomorrow we take responsibility. All that and more in 24. Live, love, be. So God.